Hi guys, it's Ian from 7 Intuitive Tarot. So the day is finally here. We are going to be embarking on this fantastic adventure with the tarot cards. So the tarot, also known as the fool's journey, also known as the hero's journey. I want to start by introducing you to a famous American author called Joseph Campbell. Joseph famously wrote two incredible books. One was called The Hero's Journey, and the other one was called The Hero with a Thousand Faces. Now, the tarot is also known as The Fool's Journey or The Hero's Journey. And in Joseph's work, he was basically a specialist in comparative mythology and comparative religion. And what he did in all of his amazing research was to look at myths and legends across various cultures in different civilizations going back thousands of years. And he found unique threads that kept on popping up in all of them. So if we look at our culture, say British culture, and you think about the fairy tales that we grew up with, those folk tales will also pop up in other cultures. Maybe the names will be slightly different, but the stories will be very similar. It's the same sort of thing with the grim fairy tales. Now, the reason these things always capture our imagination is because we can relate them to our own lives in many ways. So you, my friends, are the protagonist. I am the protagonist. I am the hero. You are the hero. I am the fool. You are the fool. Now, talking about the actual word fool, if we look at William Shakespeare and his works, the Fool was usually actually quite a clever character and would often come out with statements throughout the course of a play that had significant meaning. Within the context of a court, the jester was the only person who had permission from the king to make fun of the king himself. So the Fool held tremendous power within that realm. And they were highly intelligent, they were well versed in politics. So. When we say the word fool, we're not talking about an idiot. We're just talking about this concept of this character that's embarking on this journey. And the tarot is a journey. There are 78 cards in the tarot, 56 of which are called the minor arcana, which are more like the cards that describe what's happening. Whereas the major arcana, which is 22 cards, also known as keys, are the real significant archetypes. I would like you to look into the work of a chap called Carl Jung. He was um, like Sigmund Freud, a very famous psychoanalyst, and he wrote volumes on, on the topic of psychology. But he did a lot of work into this concept of archetypes. Now, the archetypes in the tarot would be things like the emperor, which is the archetype of the paternal male figure, You've got the archetype of the empress, which would be the maternal loving and nurturing figure. You would have things like the death card, which obviously always brings fear into people. Uh, and then you've got things like the devil, which people always get really freaked out by as well. Um, so those would be the archetypes. But again, there are 22 cards in the major arcana. So I will be starting to do individual videos for each of the 22 cards in the Major Arcana, and I'll look forward to sharing those with you very soon. But when, I, when we talk about the, the sort of adventures that we go on, it's this concept of a person venturing off, usually with some sort of quest like, I don't know, Jason and the Argonauts and the Golden Fleece or Ulysses or Odysseus. They embark on these journeys, they've got an end goal, and usually along the way, they're going to encounter, I don't know, a sorceress or some kind of evil wizard or some three-headed monster. Now, there are no real monsters. The monsters are our subconscious fears that we project into the world. So these are monsters of our mind. All of these myths and legends were really metaphors for things. So when you think about the context of a monster and what that means, it's your own internal monsters. What are your fears? What are the fears that you project? What are the fears that prevent you from attaining your goals? That's what we consider to be the blocks. Before I leave, I want to leave you with a fantastic quote from Joseph Campbell. He said, the cave 
you fear holds the treasure you seek. I'd like to leave that with you so you can ponder that. I'd like you to please subscribe and like and share this video with your friends and I will look forward to seeing you very soon when we embark with the first card of the Major Arcana, The Fool. So I look forward to seeing you there. Bye for now.